Hey, Clone Hero community, welcome to the October 2022 version of Plastic Instruments Monthly, your one-stop shop for all things and colored button news. To get the obvious out of the way and to avoid editorializing, Carney Jarrett has quit the game and community following a line of drama, Ian was discovered to be faking some accomplishments and disappeared. I will not be covering any of that information on this video, let's focus on the positives of this community and get right to the accomplishments. We've got a couple cool accomplishments from the long song shredder himself, Black GH. First off with a UA-I full album minus 6, which is a technical strumming nightmare, a platitude solo medley FC, an FC of destroy them with lasers, a war in heaven 150% speed FC, and finally, Kaith Sith. Sick stuff, Blackett. FC Pike 47. Nitro finally completed his egoless Act 9 tech FC, which concludes an absolutely massive grind. Act 9 has ridiculous amounts of the highest level gameplay this community has to offer, and Nitro's tech is pretty steezy, certainly worth a watch. Speaking of egoless Act 9 tech FCs, another ridiculous player in Radial completed his tech FC of Act 9 this month as well. It's absolutely ridiculous seeing players take on this monster chart. Radial also got an FC of all night long 8-bit remix by Jarvis and a tech FC of Archwix Hell. This month was certainly crazy for Radial, can't wait to see what he does next. Nados got the first ever FC of Exidium from Carpal Tunnel Hero 3, bringing that setlist down to 41 un-FC'd songs, some of those being harder than Megalodon. It's gonna be hell taking that set list down. Darkly ended up getting a new Arduino guitar and they came back immediately proving they're in contention for being the best player in the world again with an absolutely absurd tech FC of Caravan, a drums chart converted to guitar. It's a technical nightmare that I can't personally comprehend. They also got a minus 36 run which might be even more absurd than the Helidox minus nine. What a legend. Real Savage Jeff got a full album FC of Lorna Shore's Pain Remains, a one hour 23,000 note FC. Monumental. He also set a new console speed world record in Miss Murder 305% speed. That song's got some absurdly fast strumming, which is Jeff's bread and butter, so that's cool. Brad Masta also got a full album FC this month in Symphony X's Twilight and Olympus, a 15,000 note monster of an album. Sick job from the Revolution Death Squad King. The Human Macro Relentless is back trying to shock the world by attempting to get the first ever FC of Victory Solo J on 125% speed. He's got a minus 6 of it already and the methods are looking incredibly promising for an FC. This would be an unfathomably cool accomplishment to see happen. Good luck, Relentless. Chandler DM'd me the other day and offered me money to FC Tobias the God Sapien on 125% speed and I wanted McDonald's, so the FC was pretty much already done. It's a neat accomplishment with funky chords and fast sweeps. Shout out to TobyGH3. And finally, we've got Leany with a tech FC of Halloween Patterns Uber on 125% speed. If you want to see Lean's unique skill set thing on full display, this is a pretty good tech FC for it. There were a few really cool console accomplishments this month as well. Steph GH1 got an FC of Ballroom Blitz on GH2 Xbox, which might sound a little odd since GH80s and GH2 have similar engines. The back end of GH2 Xbox's window with the notes of that speed makes this way tighter than other GH80s FCs of this track. Check Steven's video out for a full explanation. Steph wasn't done there, he completed the first ever ACDC Live Rock Band full game FC. This also has a detailed explanation, so give it a look if you're interested. Archwick proved he's also a timing and precision god by getting an FC of Chiasm Solo 2D on RB3 Xbox. If you're unfamiliar, this section requires 48 frame perfectly executed inputs in a row. Only a handful of people in the world have hit it, and now Archwick can say he has two. And finally with console, we've got Steph again with an FC of The Lawler Cost of Thought, a Callum White song from the early GH3 custom era on Guitar Hero 3 Xbox. This was at one point close to the best accomplishment in the community when Danny first got it, so seeing it taken down on GH3 Xbox is insane. Sick work this month, Steven. And moving on to montages and minitages, we've got five cool ones this month, so let's run through them. Pixel uploaded a Twitter clip dump full of random stuff he's hit, which has only been seen by Twitter's eyes previously. Leany uploaded his Minitage 6 titled Plate Bloopers, full of random slide cordy and slide tappy shenanigans. Steph uploaded two montages, a console montage called Procrastination Minitage, and a Double Notes GH3 Xbox montage called Double Taj. Very unique stuff there. And finally, we've got Stellero's Steltage 2022. All links to these will be in the description. And last but not least, we've got some Score Spy news. Ariana, the lead dev of Score Spy, now plans to host leaderboards for the upcoming resurgence of GHTV, now that the community has made that work again. This is huge for the 6th fret community. More information is available on Ariana's Twitter, which will be linked in the description. Hey guys, Matt Money here, and welcome back to another Customs Recap. I'm back to talk to you about what our composers have been up to during the month of October. We've got a lot of releases to go over today, so let's jump right into it. 
Starting off with some broken wrists today, we have No Escape Uber Solo from Zeppi, which, despite being under a minute long, sits near the top of difficulty for October's customs. Zeppi also confirmed that No Escape 3 is going to happen in the comments section, so look forward to that in the coming months. We've got a pair of pairs now with OCGH and 3, both returning from last month with one release each, bringing Synth Battle vs. Ossi and Milky Way VGH to the table respectively. Pair number two is Sucky and Black Pawn, who each released two songs this last month. Sounds Like Swings 2 and Plug are most definitely worth your time if you're a fan of Sucky's music. If you like things more ambient, Black Pawn's Earth is a must as it draws on TSMB2's classic sound. His other release this month also bringing us the only Halloween-themed custom in the form of the Treehouse of Horror. Now onto three artists who've used the last month to drop larger projects. Starting off with Dead Shadows' Silly Shorts Volume 1, yes, that's really the name of it, a small collection of five songs totaling a little under six minutes. If you're in the mood for something short and sweet, this is right up your alley. A little more serious now, but definitely amazing in terms of sound, we have Thinger Things' Not Commercial Enough. The short, six-track album offers an amazingly unique sound with each track as a rebellion against what is seen as marketable in the music streaming industry. Definitely would recommend at least giving this one a listen. Finally, if you really want to get grooving, check out the album Flip by Collagio. They've been releasing this album one track at a time over the last month, and it is full of house bangers. And finally, back to single releases, Zacko dropped Zydor 3 this last month, and at 5 minutes 15 seconds in length, marks the longest song of our monthly batch. And that about wraps it up for this month's Plastic Instruments Monthly. Make sure to leave a comment shouting out anyone we missed this month. We'd love to cover every single thing that happened, but we're just one team and not perfect. Thanks all for now. Have a day.